Low interest rates, keepers too, and escort quest, guys. Let's reroll this. We are on Skull Puddle, so we definitely do not want this. Caretaker's Favor. Don't really want that either. Keepers, no. Dragonlord Crest. It's not bad. <laughs> Weird stuff, guys. Weird freaking stuff, no? I guess I'll take this. Oh, nice. I got rewarded. See, I had an early Gnar, so I wanted to play Gnar, right? And I got rewarded for standing strong and just taking the thing. I don't know what I just played, man. Okay, so we have an early Gnar. Let's commit to Gnar, guys. We are on a new B patch. We are on a new B patch, guys, because of course the previous patch was complete garbage. Gnar was beyond broken. They nerfed him. He's still very strong, still the best comp, but way less broken than it was. But statistically so far, again, the B patch only came out like 10 hours ago, I would say. I checked the stats, Nar is still at the tippy top, but he was at the tippy top by like such a big distance. Now he's at the tippy top by like, you know, by a little bit, you know, <laughs> makes more sense. You feel me, guys? Makes a little bit more sense than what it was. It was very stupid. So we'll still play him, though, if, if the game gives me an early Bloodthirster, an early Gnar, a second Gnar, and now a third Gnar, and a freaking Kindred with a tier. Blue buff Kindred, it's dual carry Gnar, and, um, thing. Let's just go all the way according to the statistics, you know? We are on tactics.tools. We can expand all the options for the comps, right? Uh, Gnar wants a Bloodthirster, Titans, and a Hodge. That's his best build on all of these options, and then it depends whether we get a Druid Emblem, a Dryad Emblem, not Druid, <laughs> Dryad Emblem, uh, whether we get, um, you know, the thingy, the Kindred, 3 star and stuff like that, so we'll see. But we can uh, make this a little bit of a guide, I guess, yeah? It's a new patch, right? Again, the new patch came out two days ago, complete garbage, now, a couple hours ago, they already hotfixed it, because it was that, like, truly... It needed it, man. It's really bad. In darkness, we, find uh, we have a tattoo off. This would be stronger right now, but I want to farm up Dryad, you know? I want to farm up Dryad. I don't want to level, I think. I could level, though. The two of force would be decent. Nah, I'm beating most of these guys. Yeah, I'm beating most of these guys. Faded emblem? Oh, yeah, let's do a quick little check. He's not contesting me. He might be contesting me, but he's actually just going Yone. Okay, cool. He sold his Kindred. He had a Kindred, sold it. Already scouted him. Alright, I mean, we're chilling. It doesn't seem like I'm getting contested. Again, Nar was beyond broken. Four people were playing it on the, you know, on the original version of this patch. But now with the B patch, with the hotfix, the statistics also say, like, 0.5 people playing per game. Yeah. Alright, not too bad. Not too bad. So we will go um, a little bit of ghostly. You go for a little bit of ghostly. Drad emblem is the best thing you can get. I mean, I'm second pick. I don't think I'll get it though. Sag. It's just sad, bro. Maybe I should have gone for the tier because I need a hodge as well eventually. Do you think this guy is in a position to contest me? He is. He could go for a dryad emblem. He could go for a Dryad Emblem, guys. Ay, 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 ay. That's a big problem. Nah, it is what it is. Not much we can do, right? If he does, he does, right? I mean, it's his choice. If he goes for it, he goes for it, man. Not much I can do. We will get a lot of items. Please give me an armor. That is really good. So we get our Gnar much stronger right away. Give me that tattoo of Strike or of Force. What is it? The do force, yeah. It strikes the enemy. That's why I always say that. That's why I always mix up the name. Just dashes towards the enemies. Oh, hey, really good. Really good start. Uh, we're not going to play Ink Shadow Lake game, though. Um, yeah, not bad. We need a wreck side. Let's, let's just mark the units. Let's just mark the units after this fight. This guy has a two-star Kha'Zix. But it should be fine. My Gnar should snack on it easily. 
The nerf to Gnar was, so first of all, the, 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 the Riot did a very silly thing, where Gnar was already good last patch, and then they just giga buffed him. So the way he works, he has this passive that gives him bonus attack damage uh, every time he gets hit, right, or deals damage. Nice, we got a Rexa. And the big problem with that is... I think this is better. Like, Bruiser is better. I don't, I don't really need... To, like, a tier on bench, yeah, I get it, but who cares? Um... Yeah, so he gets this passive, right? He stacks up his attack damage every time he deals damage or gets hit, kind of like a Titan's passive, right? And this had 50 stacks on the previous patch, right? Then they buffed it. They doubled how much you get for each stack, but halved the stacks, right? So what that does is the final form is the same, but he just gets stronger much, much faster. And now they nerfed it again to, again, be the same amount at the end of attack damage that he's getting, but uh, the stacks are 40 now, so he's gonna need to stack 15 more stacks, 15 more instances of damage taken or damage dealt, to reach that final form, right? The final form is still the same, was the same before the patch, was always the same, okay? So the final form was fine, just reaching that final form in 5 seconds is pretty silly, right? Because then he's 25 seconds or for the rest of the fight, he's just powered up, right? And wins the game for free for you. Alright, let's see this uh, gentleman here. Is he going for the Dryad Emblem? I hope not. I really hope not, guys. <laughs> so we don't get contested. That would be amazing. We want a Dryad Emblem of our own, right? So uh, you go for a little bit of Ghostly. It's, uh, it's a pretty cool comp. I mean, it is a cool comp, right? Obviously, losing to it is very annoying. But it is a fun comp, you feel me? But I get that people are probably mad at this point. Four! Three? Just like that? I'm pretty sure Hodge is already better. Tattoo garbage, Let's put it on him. Okay, so we need a belt, huh? I'm pretty sure. We need a freaking belt, guys. Okay, I mean, we won the game for free. I don't know what to tell you. It is belt, right? I just want to make sure. And... GG! <laughs> okay, so the Dryad Emblem goes on the Aatrox, that's what the website says as well. But it really doesn't matter, right? Like, who, who are you gonna give it to? Oh, you can put it on um, Kane as well, by the way. Kane is pretty good if you don't get enough items. Yeah, I heard that. I heard that multiple times, that Kane is good. With the Dryad Emblem, we can, we can switch it later, don't worry. I just wanna give it to my strongest ally now, because I wanna keep the win streak, right? I don't think I need new recruit. Oh, harm assist is way too broken, right? That's way too broken, it has to be. Alright, GG. We win the game for free. We can 3 star Aatrox as well, why not? Okay, I want blue buff on her. Blue buff, Rabadon, stuff like that. Morello, a Giant Slayer. Let's see our friend here. Nice! He went for the Fated Emblem. Contest the other guy instead of me. A beautiful guys, this guy's gonna have a two-star Kindred. This is playing a full Reaper, right? Unit. But that's about it. Enemies are not looking too strong, guys. Lots of people contesting each other. No one contesting me. I think this could be a first. Unless we uh, get very, very bad RNG, right? Um, this guy... He's going probably fast 9. Or like fast 8 playing, uh, playing Kane with these items. Um, eventually I need Orn and Azir, and uh, of course Rek'Sai is part of the team as well. And that's about it, man. That's about it. It's our team. If we can reach level uh, 9 as well, we'll, we'll figure out what we add there. Um, yeah, that's the, that's the units that are listed as well on the website. You can put them in Udir as well, of course, for Behemoth. 
Very simple, guys. Very comfy, guys. JJ, we win the game for free, guys. That is just beautiful, isn't it? In it. I mean, it is. I'm pretty sure Ghostly is better than, uh, than the Tattoo of Force right there. Yeah, yeah. Let's hope we get an Ilawi soon. Only have four Nars, but don't worry. The problem is everyone playing... I'm not going to be able to three-star Kindred this game, unfortunately. Because everyone's playing uh, uh, Kindred, right? All the Fated players will play Kindred, so... Actually impossible. Like, there's two, at least two Fated players. I, I, there might be a third one. And then there's uh, the freaking guy, right? The guy playing Yone. He's also going to have a two-star Kindred. That's just way too many Kindreds out of the pool. Impossible three-star. I'm going to just grief them as well a little bit with the uh, Philios. Right? I hope the Philios might as well. Okay, good stuff. Very easy game. A very easy uh, decision-making, right? Nothing hard here. Just roll. A roll down like a babbis. There's a Nar. I'll just take it. Don't give a frick about the remaining items. Okay, he took it. Is he going for Nar or does he just need... He just needs Butthurster, okay. Or he needs a uh, Heavenly Emblem, actually. Well, he needs both, but yeah, he definitely needs the Cloak. So what am I doing here? Just blue buff? Uh, it's gone as well. So I guess I'll just... Develop the cane, right? Develop the cane, guys. Very simple. Cane is very flexible, right? I like Bloodthirster. Giant Slayer, Edge of Night on him. I like that. But it's very flexible. It can be Titans. It can be all kinds of stuff. It can be double Titans. It really depends what you get. You should buy the two costs. To thin out the pool. I don't think I'm wasting money buying that guy. Wow. That is just freaking stinky right about now, guys. That is just stinky right about now. Because that cane is going to be contested by the Yone as well. And I just get him for free here. Yeah, that, that's just stinky, guys. Should we just FF? Is there even a point to play anymore? Are we going to learn anything from this game? Not really, right? Just go next. Break it. Yeah. That's probably the best decision here, guys. Not really, guys. I'm having a lot of fun. <laughs> I'm not FFing anything. Yeah. GG, guys. Alright, what do we get? Anytime you bench a unit, okay, sure, we can knock off the items, who cares? It's good though. Yeah, I'm not I'm not buying I'm not buying the guy. I'm not buying the dude. So do you just play four ghostly? I guess you just play four ghostly, right? You just play four ghostly late game as well. Perfectly fine. At level nine. If nothing else happens, if you don't get anything special. Again, usually you can't go 6 Dryad, right? So you would play 4 Ghostly at level 8, because you can't go 6 Dryad anyway. You can only play 4 Dryad, because you don't have an emblem, right? There's a lot of variations of this comp, as I keep saying. I'm gonna keep holding the, the Aphelios, guys. Remember, guys, it's a player versus player game. You gotta grief the enemies. It is it is stinky to do, but it's ranked. It's a freaking ranked game, guys. You smell me? Oh, he has all these items on the bench. He doesn't. He's not playing rank. Oh, he thinks he's not playing rank. He's he's in the sauna, guys. The sauna sprite. Nah, bruv. He's he's going dead last. Yeah, as I said, guys. Um, they applied the B patch. Great that they did, right? The previous patch was really one of the worst patches in TFT history, in my opinion, or at least since I played, right? I started playing set 6.5. So ever since then, it was one of the worst patches, hands down. So they really had no choice, really, right? But um, yeah, so don't be don't be mad at them. I, I I already know people will be like, man, they patched and Nar is still winning every game. Nar is still winning every game, right? <laughs> Look, the whole squad shows up. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, makes sense, right? But would you rather have them just absolutely obliterate Nar and then there's one less viable comp? I think this was a decent nerf. They could have just reverted the buff. I would have done that personally. Personally, I would have done that. And that makes sense. But it is what it is, right? It is. 
three star this Aatrox as well, doesn't really matter. Like, might as well, right? You're three starring all the three costs. Now we will sell the Aphelioses, of course. Like, we want to grief our enemies. Uh, this is the least important, so frick this. Four! Three? GG! And now we just level. We're not gonna three-star this Aatrox. Uh, the Kindred is way too contested, like I said. Everyone playing a uh, everyone playing Aphelios, right? So they're all gonna hold this. So we're all good. Um, again, I'm not gonna just roll for this guy. I'm gonna keep all of him. And maybe I can find him later. Did I really just lose, man? I calm the frick on, man. Did we really just lose? I mean, he is 7 uh, seven fated. 7 fated is very strong. If we look at the tier list right now, or the statistical tier list, 7 fated is right after Gnar. Gnar has a 14% win rate, a 51.9% top 4 rate, and a 4.4 average placement, uh, which is very strong, right? Very strong, but then it used to have like a... Bro, it used to have like a 4.2 average placement, a 20% win rate. Ridiculous, right? 70% top 4, like... So stupid how broken it was. Garbage. Reaper Crown. Reaper Nar is also a variation, but I think it's... I already have three items. I think it's worse. It's worse. It's worse for sure. This is just trash. And then this can just be good, right? I mean, it's okay. And honestly, I'm gonna frontline it. I'm gonna give it to the Nar because um, she's not gonna do much. I should have leveled. Uh, she's not gonna do much with it, with the AP, because she's just two star, and he's gonna get more um, more attack damage because his attack damage portion scales with AP. The more AP he has, the more attack damage he scales from his passive. So uh, yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's a combat augment. We take those. We take those. We have harm assist. We're looking good. This is a guaranteed top 4 already. We reached 6 uh, dry at this game. It's a guaranteed, uh, probably a guaranteed top 1, honestly. I, I keep it as that, guys. It's very strong. Unless someone hits a 3 star legendary or something stupid, right? Obviously, guys. Uh, I think I'm. Reforging this. GS. On this gentleman. What am I playing? Second Aatrox, probably. Or I'm trying to play four Ghostly, right? I should have kept the Shen. I'm stupid. Very, very stupid, guys. This guy's playing Syndrome. Yeah, Fated. Uh, Fated Aphelios is still very good, of course. Uh, ghostly Senna is also good. And then Porcelain Ash is finally decent now. Ash is playable. Ash does rely a little bit on getting four Porcelain though, which can be hard. Also, I am really mispositioning here, guys. My, my guy is just getting obliterated by the Syndra. I think we can still win just because we have uh, so much other trash. I can just finish the fight. I hope. Hello? 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 Oh, frick, man. Sorry. Um, I'm selling this, right? Oh, frick, I can't even sell. Yeah, getting uh, getting the four porcelain is very important for Ash. I think that's what I heard. So if you don't get a level 8 Lissandra, you're going dead last, usually. Okay, we can, we're pretty much guaranteed to get our item here. Nice. There we go. We're not itemizing Kindred again because I can't 3-star her. Usually blue buff, uh, Morello, um, Rabadons, or if you have other ways of heal reducing them, the enemies. Remember the encounter. That's why we can do that. I'm never gonna go 3-star on this. I need to not get completely focused right away like a freaking idiot. Yeah, this guy's level 9, going fast 10. What the frick, he, he got 70 XP from this. That's kind of good, yeah? <laughs> you can't risk it, right? <laughs> you 
can risk the call to chaos. If I knew I would get 70 XP, I would have taken it. But um, you know, it's a it's a it's a chance, right? You can get some random trash. Maybe I should have taken it. Nah, nah. What if I get some random three star three cost and it doesn't even do anything, and then I just have to sell it? Like that's just not good for 27 gold. I just go dead last. Okay, I'm getting obliterated. This guy is really strong. Yeah, he's level nine, right? You can definitely feel the the nerf. Nar. Choose a component. Zyra grants you three copies of it. Um. Here we go. Armor. Most enemies are physical here. And we can get a Sunfire later as well. 44 to level. Do I want to level here? Doesn't really do anything, right? I'm not playing anything. Never a dull I moment. play Ghostly. I could kick him and play Ghostly. I think it's worth leveling. Because I still make so much money. I can get my component here as well. Right, so I get Sunfire. I think that's pretty good. For Ghostly, it's a big damage increase. This guy's playing Kai'Sa. Remember, on the original version of this patch, only Nar and Kai'Sa were viable. They nerf both, and the NR is still very strong. Kaisa is decent still. I, I'm hearing she's worse than Ash now. Which you know is fine. Still decent. Still okay. Okay, there we go. The fallen only make me stronger. You think I'll ever three star Kindred? No, right? <laughs> no 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 no. No, I won't. I'll rather keep- I'll rather grief the enemies, man, guys. I would rather grief the enemies. Let me just take out this stupid wreck side so it stops blinking. All the units we don't need anymore, so they stop blinking. Uh, sell the kindred as well, who cares? Oh yeah, great, 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 great. It's decent. We're looking good. This guy looking really strong right now. Or dragon lord. Oh yeah, we go level 10, uh, level 9, we roll for a zero and Orn, and we win the game for free. How bad is, how bad is, uh, oh frick, I got a kindred, man, maybe I should have kept them. Um, right, so what items do I want here? Like, Last Whisper on who, right? That's the problem. Because Last Whisper is nice, but on, on who do I put it? On kindred? It's kind of weird. I mean, it is nice, though. It is nice. It is, it is nice. It is nice. Like, yeah, she's freaking... She's a freaking magic damage unit, but, like... Like, what else do I do, man? Oh, there's this guy. Like, what else do I do, right? What else do I do? Last Whisper on who else, right? We can put it on somebody else later. It's fine. Uh, because we can, of course, uh, the Shojin is for the Azir, guys. The Azir is gonna be our Giga carry backline, 2 star Azir, 6 Dryad. Gonna be super strong. Nice, the Kane is 1 star and doing a phenomenal job. With Harm Assist, of course, one of his fa if not, maybe his favorite augment, probably. Kubuko invites you to dance, please give me infinite money, man, so I can go level 9, get 6 Dryad, and I win the game for free. He doesn't join, we get less rewards. He's doing it strategically. He doesn't want any rewards. Perfectly fine, right? It's strategic, perfectly fine. I'm not sure what the strategic is. I would have to see his board if he's correct about that. I have to see his board, guys. Shall I prove them right? I'm gonna play her. I mean, I'm not leveling yet. I'm gonna level here, probably. Carousel. Um, I'm just going for an Azir item. Do you think Archangel is better or Rabbit? I think Rabbidons is better because Rabbidons has the percentage damage, right? The 20% increased damage and you already get a lot of uh, AP from Dryad 6, 65 AP. <clears throat> this guy's really strong, man. I'm not sure if I'm beating this. One star Galio though. Maybe that's the saving grace for us. One star Galio, infinite items from the uh, 
triple combat augment. Same for me, right? But my freaking prismatic combat augment, the uh, chalice is just not that good. Like, imagine I got uh, Benji's, right? I, I think it was definitely the right choice to take because I, I can get so many broken things. I just got the worst, literally the worst too, probably. It is what it is, and even those are useful. It is what it is, right? Don't call me evil. Shall I prove them right? Okay. Uh, this guy is just six porcelain. He probably wins the game, right? Like, probably wins the game. This guy's playing two star Irelia, level 10. What the frick is wrong with people, man? How did they go level 10 so easily? I'm just keeping the thing in the middle because I'm too lazy to position. How does he have. Um, oh, support item glob. Okay. We also have a one star cane. Remember, at level, level 9, we'll get much stronger. I'm getting potted. I mean, this is a really bad loss, unfortunately. Oh, actually? I mean, it's kind of okay. It's okay. This comp is much stronger with Kinder 3, so we got a little bit unlucky that everyone played Fated here. I mean, I already have a heal reduction, so I don't really need that. Oh, but it is a cane. I could just go double heal reduction. It's not even that bad. It is a cane. I can get two star cane immediately. Uh, the thing is, this is so broken on Orn. <laughs> this is way too broken on Orn, right? Can't really say no to that. We will get two Sarcane eventually. It's not very contested. It's only one guy, right? Let me show you darkness. Um. Oh yeah, I'm missing the guy, right? I'm coming for you. Hello? That's kind of lame. That is lame, guys. That is lame -o. No Orn. That's weird, right? I don't think it's even that contested. Am I crazy? I haven't seen an Orn fight against me. Maybe I just haven't been paying good enough attention. I like it. Orn makes me so much stronger, right? I'm gonna have like 1.4k bonus health. It's a crazy difference. 1.4k bonus health on all our dread. I could move the dryad emblem to him. I think it's actually good. Yeah, I think I'm actually down. sold for this. I'm so stupid. I could go Last Whisper on Kane, maybe? Ah, weird. I feel like I, I, I'm, I, I can figure everything out. I sold a Zier, that's fine, right? I think Kane is more important than a Zier. I don't know, I, I shouldn't be losing. It's so weird. The lobby is weird, guys. Like, I shouldn't be losing. Seriously. was never... Maybe, maybe it is better like this. Maybe it is just better like this. Because AP doesn't really do much on the guy, right? I hope I can find this 3-star Aatrox, like this is the weirdest part of it, right? I feel like it's Ginsu's. And then just static shave, I guess. 
Okay, I mean, this, this, this is tragic, guys. If we lose, we lose, right? It's very sad if we lose this. It's just tragic, bro. I'm getting potted. My Nar gets potted twice in a row. Not sure what's going on. Hello? Hello? I'm really mad. This makes no sense. Come on, Kane. Get the job done, buddy. Okay, Jesus Christ, guys. Uh, it's so frustrating, this late game. Where's my... Where's my... Aatrox 3, man. I can't, I can't really... I have to do this. Yeah, 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 guys. This freaking stupid thing just ruins my positioning, man. Like, I'm pretty sure. I'm supposed to put a back line, man. Freak this trash. I don't know, bro. I mean, surely we beat this guy, right? With 6 Dryad now, we have 1.4k bonus health. Kane, uh, Yone is not good against that, usually. I have a backline damage dealer now. I have two really strong carries. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to put um, Dryad Emblem on the Kane. I feel like the items are just weird then, right? And this guy does have... Uh, this, this guy is very strong, right? He has Radiant Thing. Okay, we made it to a top three. Uh, please. Where are Ah, uh, it's just sad. This guy's level 10. He's holding a bunch of his ears. Should I just sell? I feel like I need to sell, right? That's just sad, bro. I didn't hit. Sold for nothing. I feel like Edge of Night is better. I think he doesn't need the bonus health. That's, that's what I'm thinking. That's my read. I might be wrong, but I think he doesn't need the bonus health. I mean, this guy wins the game anyway, right? Hopefully, we just lose less against him than the other guy. That's all we can hope for. That we just lose less hard against him. That guy just uh, went level 10 at like 2 minutes into the game, right? There's nothing you can do about that. My Orn is really just not tanking at all, huh? Just doesn't care, just walked away. Uh, I think I still got second. Nice. Good stuff. Good stuff. Oh, yeah, we'll take it. We'll take it, guys. A little bit of a weird late game. I definitely could have played it better, for sure, right? Should have been faster, more decisive. Should have sold the Aatrox way earlier, I think. Maybe should have sold the Aatrox instead of the... Um, should have sold the Aatrox instead of the Azir, so I could have two-star Azir now, right? Or at least it would have raised the chance if I kept that one Azir, right? Uh, the problem was I, I just have this Dryad Emblem on him. And I really don't want to put it on Kane because I have such good items on Kane, right? Um, instead of the Edge of Night, it could be better. But at the same time, it is 1.4k health, which is a lot. But um, the AP does nothing on Kane, literally nothing. Whereas the AP on him is really good, right? So I was really hoping for a 3 star. I think I was just too dialed onto that 3 star, man. Um, yeah, I could have hit it though, right? I could have hit it. I was one off. Level 9, but still, right? Not sure. Should have just sold. I mean, yeah, you, you can't really know, right? I'm not sure what the optimal play is, right? But maybe I should have just sold it. Buy the... Keep the Azir. And then just move the Dryad Emblem to him. I really wanted that Aatrox. Like, 3-star Aatrox here. With the items that Orn has. With Dryad. Uh, would just be really tanky. Would be so good, right? And he scales well with AP. Would actually deal, like, 3k damage every fight as well. We'll still take it, guys. Subscribe to the bell if you enjoy these TFT videos. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support this video. Indeed, the algorithm so I can get some more views. And I'll see you next time.